In this video, I'm gonna answer your questions about how autonomous vehicles can save our roads. My name is Tyler Lay and I make these videos because I wanna make our world a better place and I wanna work with you to make it happen. I've made a previous video, a part one in essence, about these concepts. Go and watch it now if you haven't seen it because some of the stuff I'm gonna talk about might not make sense without it. Have you ever been driving with all a bunch of trucks around you? I have, I feel trapped and anxious and nervous and it just doesn't feel safe. Guess what, the trucks, they feel the same way about you. They're professionals. They're going, trying to go from point A to point B as fast as they can in the best way possible. And we all have to share the same roadway. What if we could make the situation so much better? And this concept is called the Autonomous Truck Corridor to make this happen, or the ATC for short. So what is the ATC? It's separating trucks from other vehicles, also making them autonomous and electric. Here's an overview picture of it. These trucks shown here, they're autonomous. This overhead power line actually powers the trucks and the trucks hook up to it with these connections. These trucks already exist. They're already out there. This is possible. Let's make this happen. There are tons of benefits. You can get faster and more reliable deliveries, longer lasting roadways, less traffic, improved safety, and of course, less greenhouse gases, tons of benefits. Go watch the other video for more information on these. This is a collaborative project between my friends at Oklahoma State, Penn State, and UNC Charlotte. Look for the names in the notes below. Thank you so much for all of your help on this idea. This was a team effort. So why should we do this? Well, what we're doing now is not working. Our roads are crumbling underneath this. Our freight needs are gonna go nothing but higher and higher and higher and we need to do something about it. Albert Einstein said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. If we just rebuild our roadways, that's what's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen at a much faster rate. So why not develop a self-funding roadway that increases efficiency, reduces traffic, improves safety, and reduces the impact on the environment. Now, the most common question that I got from my viewers, and it's a great one, is Tyler, why don't we just use trains? Trains are awesome, I love them, I think they're great. Our country, though, cannot rely on trains for several reasons. One, we are a very, very spread out country. We also have populations in lots and lots of different areas. And all of those people, even the smaller amounts of folks in smaller cities, they still want their Amazon Prime. They still want whatever goodies that they are getting sent to them that's important to them. And that's why we need trucking in not only this country, but tons and tons of others across the world. This map shows the main freight delivery methods in, in the United States. It's showing water, truck, and trains, and it shows where they travel. And the size of the line shows the volume of freight that is being delivered. Look at the truck. It's all over this place. It's spacious. And there are many lines that are pretty thick all over the place. But look at the trains. There's certain regions of the country where trains are just much more dominant than ever. Let's look at this region here. It's going from Wyoming to kind of the rest of the United States. You know what's being hauled? Coal. That's the Powder River Basin. That's going from that location to power plants. Trains are awesome at point to point delivery. They can haul things over long, long distances, especially heavy things, and they can do it efficiently. We need our rail infrastructure to be maintained, used, and even improved. We need it, it's important to us, we need to even make it better. The cost of building new track and the spacious right-of-way needed for trains is a significant capital investment. Here's a case study. Here's the Northeast Corridor, where they're trying to build a high-speed train from Washington, D.C. up to Boston. The estimated cost in this region is $320 million per mile. That is insane. That's a ton of money. The ATC in this same region, we think we can do it for $10 million per mile. 
in rural regions. We think we can do it for $5 million per mile. This is about 1 30th of the cost of a high-speed train. Other challenges, the track paths and routes and timings of these trains are inflexible. Once they start, they have to keep going. And once they stop, everything stops. What am I talking about? Well, I'm showing the train on the left and the ATC on the right. When my locomotive or my engine stops with my train, every single one of my cars behind it is going to have to stop. That's what happens at every station. They have to unload it. They have to take it off. They have to detach, whatever. With the ATC, nothing has to stop. Any one of these trucks could pull off the ATC wherever it needed to go, detach and wait, and the rest of them could just keep going, could speed up and fill the gap in between. So this is kind of like the next generation train. So since trucks are autonomous on this roadway, they'll be able to drive very, very close together or platoon. They can draft off one another and maybe drive up to speeds of 100, 100 plus miles per hour. These trucks can also be designed to carry a lot more load, maybe double stacking, almost twice the load of what we've seen before. And if there was an issue on the road, the vehicle could be guided around it to continue not like a train where if something happens, you're in big trouble. You've got to get people out there immediately to fix that. With the ATC, the trucks could pull around this. So will truck drivers still have jobs? Of course they will. After these trucks pull off the ATC, they can wait. And once a person comes and gets in the vehicle, they can make the local deliveries. This allows truck drivers to sleep at home and work much more regular hours. So won't there be some technology out there that'll just make all of this obsolete? Well, the simple way to answer this question is, do you have a cell phone? Do you have a computer? Do you own a car? Well, why? Why would you own any of these things? Because I guarantee you tomorrow, there will be a new technology that will come along and make something you own today obsolete. But you've made a decision that this technology is important enough to you to start to implement it in your life. The ATC is gonna be designed to integrate as many new technologies as possible. The freight trucks lend themselves though to special focused solutions. And ladies and gentlemen, we've gotta start. We've got to start or nothing will ever change. So why don't we just spend more money fixing our roads? I'd ask you back, if we're gonna fix our roads, why don't we build it in a smart way? Let's also make it pay for itself. Let's make it more efficient as well. Let's work smarter, not harder. So where should it be located? It's gonna be much easier to team up the ATC with existing highways. They already have right-of-ways that in a lot of times are already designed for expansion. So if you have two highways like this, this right-of-way, this area in between, that's a perfect place for the ATC to go. It could look something like this but not every corridor would look like this. We could also have the cars in the middle and the ATC outside, or perhaps we have a whole separate corridor just for the ATC. Any of these are possible, and all of these provide huge benefits over what we're doing right now. When you get to a major city, this can become a stumbling block. The best thing to do is to go around the city. It's much less expensive to go around the city and send a single corridor in. Now you're telling me with all of the highways going into a city, you can't find one that would accommodate the ATC. I bet you can. And we'll use that one to get all of our goods in and out of that city. How much is it gonna cost? We think it's gonna cost about double what a typical current roadway section would cost. However, if we charge 25 cents per mile per truck, and that number may change, it would quickly pay for itself. Also, in horrible emergencies, where you have to get a lot of people out of a city quickly, like Houston, summer 2005, during Hurricane Katrina, people were deadlocked and they couldn't leave the city. The ATC would be perfect for this. You could load people up on trucks, get them out of the city as fast as possible, and once it's safe, you bring back supplies, equipment, rescue workers, and you quickly bring that city back to service. We could improve our data infrastructure. We're gonna need 
massive data lines to run these autonomous trucks. Why not use this high-speed internet to help out with other utilities, to take advantage of it, to increase their speeds, to bring high-speed internet to the entire country? Also, we could sell this usage to help further maintain and fund the ATC. Our military has to move parts, vehicles, and people from base to base. This would be a huge benefit. This would help them to much more rapidly move whatever they needed to throughout this country. So in summary, the ATC promises many direct, indirect benefits to our roadways, our trucking industry, our response to emergencies, our government logistics, and our budgets. I know it's gonna be a long journey, and I know it's gonna change along the way, but I'm never gonna get there by myself. And that's why I need a team. And I need a team and I need you on it. So how can you help? Give this video a thumbs up, share the video with other people. That is the one thing, the most important thing. Find some people that you know that can make a difference and send this video to them. Start a discussion in the comments. Tell me what you like, tell me what you think needs more work. I don't care what happens. I just wanna see this come to fruition. And you can email me at helptheatc at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.